Ladies and gentlemen, gather round and lend me your ears because I've got a special treat for you. This wild and wacky video, Dark Wish, was conjured into existence thanks to a fantastic request from none other than Este from Channel Este. That's right. Este knew you needed a healthy dose of laughter and insanity. So here we are. Now let's embark on a thrilling adventure with our beloved Mystic Force Rangers. They've unleashed their brand spanking new Legend Warrior mode, making Liberace turn green with envy. These rangers are strutting around like walking disco balls on steroids, ready to kick some magical butt. And hold on to your hats, folks, because the Manticore Megazord swoops in like a creature straight out of a kid's wild fever dream. It's a magnificent mishmash of a lion and a freaking scorpion. Who knew such an outrageous combination could exist? Bravo, Power Rangers, bravo! But that's not where the craziness ends. Oh no. Brace yourselves for the mind-boggling antics of the barbarian beasts. These mischievous creatures are like the Marx Brothers on an energy drink frenzy, pulling pranks left and right. Just when you thought things couldn't get any loopier, in strides Imperius, the ultimate party crasher. This guy has the charm of a rabid squirrel armed with a megaphone, and he's not content with causing a mere bit of trouble. No, sir. Imperius wants the whole enchilada of chaos and mayhem. So he decides to hijack poor Genji's wish. Because, hey, who needs a normal, peaceful day when you can have chaos served on a silver platter? So buckle up, my friends, because you're about to embark on a wild ride filled with power-packed action, side-splitting hijinks, and more weirdness than you can shake a magical staff at. Dark Wish is here to shower you with laughter and a healthy dose of insanity, all bundled up in a colorful package crafted solely by the ingenious minds of the Power Rangers. Get ready to laugh, gasp, and wonder just what in the world you've stumbled upon. It's morphin' time, baby. And thanks to Este, we're in for a treat. In part one, Madison and Vita work at the Rock Porium. Madison helps a customer while Vita uses magic to scratch a record. Toby, struggling to prepare for the anniversary party, is reassured by Madison and Vita. The Rangers battle Warmax and later Shrieker, facing difficulties but ultimately winning. Dagarin notices a dangerous time for their development. In part two, the Rangers attend the anniversary party, but their morphers go off, signaling a new battle. They fight against 50 Below and Fido, who defeat them and capture Genji. Imperius makes a wish to erase the Mystic Force Rangers. The teens find themselves in a colorless and music band Briarwood, with their memories intact. They discover the destruction of Root Core and encounter an old Udana and Claire. Korag offers to help, and they learn about the Tribunal of Magic in another dimension. In part three, the teens agree to work with Korag and ride Fireheart to the Tribunal of Magic. Phineas bids farewell to Korag. They encounter Necroli and enter a portal to a different dimension. They face challenges and defeat previous warriors. The teens find two doors, one white and one black, needing to make a choice. This three-part episode featuring the Barbarian Beasts was adapted from a larger story arc consisting of five episodes within the Ranger series. In part two, a significant development occurs as it marks the first time the Solar Streak Megazord is absent since its initial appearance. Notably, part two relies predominantly on stock footage of the underworld, with minimal utilization of Sentai footage. John Tui, who portrays Daggerin, is notably absent from part two, as his character is depicted to have vanished without a trace. The episode marks both the comeback and final appearance of the Mystic Speeder. The insinuation of a connection between Necroli and the Black Mage of the Mystic Tribunal suggests that Necroli may be an informant from the underworld, or potentially corrupted in his own unique manner. This could serve as an explanation for his strong reluctance to reverse the Dark Wish, and might also imply that he exerted some form of coercion or persuasion on the other mages to initially reject the involvement of the Rangers. If we assume that the Black Mage is indeed an undercover operative for Imperius, it is plausible that the other mages would have discovered his corruption just prior to undoing the Dark Wish. Conversely, if the Black Mage acted alone, he would have likely changed his stance on the Tribunal's initial decision, without fearing any repercussions from Imperius, to say the least. Alternatively, it is entirely plausible that the Black Mage symbolizes dark magic and its practitioners, while the White Mage represents light magic and its practitioners. The Red Mage, in turn, might embody the concept of balance or equilibrium.